String instruments date back many centuries and have been developed independently by most ancient cultures. The earliest instruments were single strings tied to bows. Evidence of these primitive instruments has been found in Asia and Africa dating back over 3,000 years. Over time, instrument makers added more strings. Ukuleles first had their start in Portugal in 139 BC in the Lusitani tribe. The development of the ukulele has been influenced by instruments from Spain, South America, and Africa. By the 13th century four-string instruments were being used in Spain. When six-string instruments were introduced in the 1700s the popularity of cordophones exploded. Although ukuleles are most commonly associated with Hawaii, it wasn't until 1879 that the first ukulele was brought over from Portugal. One of the Portuguese immigrants on the ship Ravenscrag, Joao Fernandes, started playing his four-string Portuguese instrument known as a braguina. Local residents were intrigued with the instrument, adopted it as their own, and renamed it ukulele which in Hawaiian means jumping flea. This name reflected the way the islanders thought the fingers jumped around the fretboard when it was played. Within 10 years of its introduction, the ukulele became the most popular instrument in Hawaii. The first ukuleles were made by hand, a process that was both painstaking and time-consuming. Subsequently, the number of ukuleles in existence was quite low prior to 1910. Eventually, special wood cutting and shaping machines were created to produce ukuleles. The instrument was steadily modified making it look and sound more like the modern-day ukulele. Manuel Nunes was one of the most important innovators. He modified the instrument by replacing steel strings with gut strings. He also suggested a different tuning pattern to make chord formation easier. He also began using wood from the koa tree to produce a lighter, more resonant ukulele. The ukulele was introduced to the United States mainland during the Panama Pacific Exposition in San Francisco during 1915. Record sales of Hawaiian music grew rapidly and United States guitar manufacturers began selling their own version of the ukulele. By the 1920s and 1930s, the popularity of the ukulele spread throughout North America, and its sound became closely associated with vaudeville music shows. Since then, the ukulele has often been played as a jazz and solo instrument. The plastic ukulele, called the TV Pal, was developed by Mario McAfee in 1950. He was a well-known guitar maker who became intrigued with plastics. He used his instrument-making skill to produce the plastic ukulele which sold over 9 million units between the time it was introduced and 1958. Its popularity was mainly due to the fact that it was inexpensive, had a good sound, and was tied in with the popular television show Arthur Godfrey and his ukulele.